lot of questions about what's the easiest way to pay zakah or calculate zakah and what is you know when does somebody become liable to pay zakah okay so i just want to quickly explain that so a lot of people also get confused about something they say okay what's with the whole silver standard gold standard in terms of nisab so first of all let's just explain what nisab is nisab is basically a threshold okay so it's a threshold that makes you liable to pay zakah okay and that threshold is set at 595 grams of silver, okay, so silver, or 85 grams of gold, okay. This one here nowadays is about 400 and change, approximately. And this one is 10 times more, so it's hovering somewhere close to 4.5K at the moment approximately okay so you can see there's a massive difference in the nisab so what to follow so at national zakat foundation we follow the 595 grams of silver as the nisab so once somebody hits the nisab so let's just look at a chart here okay this is zero and then let's say this is the nisab line okay okay and person is making some money it goes up and right here they hit the nisab let's say on uh, hypothetically this date right here is ramadan because we look at the lunar calendar when it comes to zakat and let's say it's the 20th of ramadan okay so now you hit the nisab and we're going by the silver nisab okay if you follow the gold standard that's also fine you can follow that opinion but obviously a lot of people go with the silver nisab and also it's more beneficial to the people that need help so you've hit the nisab now a year goes by you're going at different times and here's the year mark so let's say right here is your first year one year has gone over it one lunar year and this is the point where you're at right now okay and let's say at this point you 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 know you have 5k Let's say this is 5,000 or, you know, whatever. So you have the 5K point. This is Ramadan again the next year, and it's the 20th. So this is your date. The easiest way of doing this is just figure out on this day, if you have no other assets, on this amount right here. It's called the spot method. Okay. You just take that amount, which is 5K, and times it by 2.5%. The reason this is very important now to do it like this is because it makes it very difficult to track all your assets, their value going up and down, when the lunar year is passing over each asset that is eligible to be paid zakat on. So on this day, if you have gold and silver, you have shares, you have... Uh, investments, you have uh, retirement saving plans, you have anything else, you take all these assets on that same day and whatever ways of calculating zakah on it, whatever other methods we've shown, takes 2.5% and that's your total for that time. Okay? That's your total zakat due. Makes it very, very easy, very simple to do. And every year you would do the same thing. Okay. Now the other thing is something of an issue, which is the zakat anniversary, right? And it's it's called the haul. But this is very important to understand. A lot of people don't follow this. So your zakat anniversary actually starts from the time you hit nasab and then stay above it. Obviously, a lot of people don't know their zakat anniversary date, the real one. A lot of people don't know when they actually hit the nisab. So what to do then, right? If you don't know, what do you do? So, what the scholars have said is, you pick a date. And you pick a date that's easy for you to remember, and it has to be from the Islamic calendar or the Hijri calendar. So, a lot of people, for many obvious reasons, pick Ramadan, then just make sure that you follow 
this method to make sure that you pay either on that date or before it. You're allowed to pay before it. Paying after it, it's, it's late, okay? So you have to pay either on the date. So in this, let's say in this scenario, the person's date is the 20th of Ramadan, okay? Then this person has to make sure that they either pay on the 20th of Ramadan every year and do this calculation, or they're allowed to pay it before, okay? So previous payments. And if you have made previous payments throughout the year, when you do your calculation on the 20th of Ramadan, let's say 20th of Ramadan, you do the calculation and you, you find out that you have to pay $1,250 worth of zakat, okay? And throughout the year prior, you have paid $1,000 worth of zakat for different things that came up. So the only thing you have to pay now is $250, okay? And it's an easy way of doing your zakat. This is the easiest way uh, to calculate it and just make sure you you have a zakat anniversary date set. Uh, a lot of people don't, and this is wrong. You should have a date, and then you should be calculating your zakat like this every single year, inshallah. And it, you take this pillar seriously, inshallah, Allah will help you grow your wealth because zakat at the end of the day is for growth and for purity. Uh, we hope you find this video beneficial. Uh, inshallah, we'll be having more videos like this. Thank mm -hmm. you.